Okay, so this was the uh, little kitchen table that I chose to get from, uh, what is it called? Um, Raymore and Flanagan. And uh, this kitchen table has the drop leaf design right here. So if you throw a tablecloth over it, nobody will even notice that it has drop leaves. You can put another two chairs right here. But since this is a small kitchen breakfast space, it's like this is good enough for right here. The dining room is going to have a nice big table, about probably six chairs. And then it's going to have a break front where I'm going to keep glassware and what's it called, uh, wine bottles and this, that, and other. That'll most likely be where I put my wine cooler that, that I got. So anyway, there's this Samsung gigantic-ass microwave that I had to buy. 1,000-watt power. And that's to accompany this big, beautiful Samsung refrigerator. So I think this will be like the first thing I put in it. This is a half drink bottle of um, salsa water. And uh, so let me set up this microwave. Yeah, I, and I'm really glad that Samsung actually still made this refrigerator because this is one of the narrower models. This model is only 30 inches wide. The majority of Samsung refrigerators, the majority of French door refrigerators are 34 or 36 inches wide. So this is what has to happen. Before I can push this back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sawzall and I'm going to cut about an inch across out of this cabinet because this part right here is mostly hollow. So I'm going to cut across and that will make it so that I can easily slide this refrigerator all the way back because originally I thought that I was going to rip this whole cabinet out. Fortunately, it turns out I didn't have to Let's do that. Let's open this bad boy up. We have the microwave safe dish. Let's put that right here for now. I'm gonna, my whole suite, my washer, my dryer, my refrigerator, my microwave, and my oven are gonna be Samsung eventually. So this old oven, this Spectra oven that these people had before, this is gonna eventually get tossed out. And I'm gonna get the uh, Samsung oven that fits this, pretty much it should be the exact fit this space. And um, I'll probably do that during the next big holiday sale that they have. So, a little bit of cardboard. And this gigantic oven. I'm gonna have to pull that out with both hands. So let me just put this phone So in. for right now, until I change out these cabinets and get new cabinets, this space, it fits just fine. Have your manual, a little bit of sticky tape to prevent this thing from falling out. It's nice, simple, simple design. No more hardware in here, so it's very straightforward, simple, simple. So no surprises, basically. So basically, this is the dish, and you just center this in there. go and Samsung you know ultimately you're buying a brand name Samsung has its own style so when you buy one of these things you're basically paying for a brand name you know um, typically these microwaves especially when you got something that has this level of power these things can cook just about anything that you can fit in there so I guess there's nothing wrong necessarily with getting a larger one than I need but, um, you know, now, I see, I, I like my stuff to match. So it's like my entire kitchen suite, all the exact same, pretty much, appliances. So. But, uh, all of this is very nice. All this stuff is brand new. Very, uh, attractive designs and whatnot. Okay, just put that right there, and there you go. And that's the cord. I haven't really connected anything because I haven't been using. I'm not really using anything just yet. But uh, that's the Samsung microwave oven. So let's just take a clip look. Some of the features on this thing. I'm gonna have to. I'll probably get an adapter that um, changes the direction of the cables to make them sideways instead of just flat out forward because these cables take up you know, a lot of um, front space. See, this cable for the refrigerator is one of the new design cables where it pulls out to the side rather than um, taking up space right in front of it. But um, here you go. So I, can, I could set the clock. It's probably easy. You just usually, what is it? What time is it? 1025. 
and then you probably push clock again or and that's it yeah that's all you have to really do okay and it has a kitchen timer so there's, a, there's a sound button there's an eco button right here and uh start stop cancel 30 second microwave and then they have these buttons i wonder if anybody really uses these buttons I'm pretty sure children probably use it because they probably think that's the most efficient thing to do. Me personally, I usually never use those buttons. But side by side, side by side, Samsung appliances are pretty nice. And as soon as I'm able to fit that uh, refrigerator in there, it'll be even nicer.